I love time capsules. I just think they're one of the coolest things in the world. You put a whole bunch of precious and meaningful objects into a capsule and wait for it to be open and discovered at a later date. But what if you took that concept, turned it into a game mechanic, and then put it into space? Well, that's what they did here in Time Capsules, which was designed by Yaroslav Kustov and published by Red Cat Games, who helped sponsor this video. Hi, everybody. My name is Nick Murphy, and we are here with Board Game Geek. Well, this capsule has been closed for a few thousand years, and I think it's about time to open it up. So let's get this game down to the table to go a little more in focus on Time Capsules. Time Capsules is a bag building game where players will be putting their materials and game pieces into four capsules and they'll be drawing them out later to use what's inside. All players will start with only batteries and computers in their capsules, and on their turn they will draw two at random from their bag, open them up, and pour them out onto the player mat. Items from the capsule will go onto the green active zone on their mat. Now players will take actions using these materials. Often in your capsules are batteries and computers, both of which can be used in a number of different ways. Batteries give energy, and energy may be used to buy artifacts, gain computers, add strength to their computers, and re-roll computers. Computers are your dice. When you draw a computer token out of the bag, you will take the corresponding die, roll it, and then place it on the computer. The value of the die is referred to as qubits. You may use qubits to buy artifacts, gain energy, gain points, and get rid of temporal breaks. When you gain an artifact, you will pay qubits or energy equal to this number here, and then that artifact will go into your inactive zone. Artifacts will go into your capsules as well, and when they're drawn out at a later time, they will go into your active zone and may be used. Artifacts can do a number of different things, and it's generally a good idea to collect sets of colors, as many of them require you to have a certain number of that color artifact for it to be used. Artifacts are very powerful, and the proper use of them is crucial if you want to be victorious. Throughout the game, you will also be gaining chrono crystals and fluctuation cards. Crystals are how you play your cards, and your cards, like artifacts, do a number of different things. For example, this card allows you to upgrade two of your computers and gain three points. You may turn in energy or qubits to gain bio objects, which may be discarded immediately for their top effect. Or they can go into a capsule, and when they come out again, they will be discarded to gain the bottom effect, which is more powerful. Throughout the game, you will also be getting temporal break tokens. These will be going into your capsule, and they are not good. At the end of the game, any players who have six or more temporal breaks throughout their capsules immediately lose. At the end of their turn, the player will take all their objects and they will split them between their two open capsules, choosing which materials go into which capsule. Each capsule must have at least two objects, but no more than seven. Any excess objects are discarded. The game will end after 10 rounds, and at the end of the game, the player with the most points will win. Time Capsules is a very interesting take on the bag building genre. Every turn you draw two capsules, crack them open, which seems random, but you're the one who chose what went into each capsule. And there's a ton of strategy involved as you choose what to pair with what. Do you load a capsule with nothing but a ton of energy, or do you have an even mix of stuff? And if Time Capsules seems like a game you'd enjoy, consider checking out its page on Board Game Geek. And until next time, I've been Nick Murphy. We've been going in focus on Time Capsules. Have a great day.